System view has this concept of an envelope signal, but what is it really? So look at this test bench where we are going to apply a sine wave at 100 kilohertz and capture it with a sync and a spectrum analyzer. This part is shorted out right now. And when we do that, we get the picture on the screen where the spectrum looks like this, looks like there's a signal at 100 kilohertz and the sine wave is represented down here. This is what the, the sync captured, exactly what we would expect. So right now, system views operating in real baseband mode. This is a real baseband signal, which is um, this, this source. Uh, it puts out a blue arrow. Anything other than a black arrow is just a baseband signal. And sure enough, the um, real part is there, but the imaginary part is zero. So all we have to do in this mode is make sure that we are sampling at at least twice the frequency of the signal that we want to see. And as long as we meet that requirement, we're good. So this is system view in plain old real baseband mode. Um, what happens now if we switch over to complex envelope mode where the source still puts out 100 kilohertz but it is a black arrow indicating an envelope signal it's 100 kilohertz and it's going to go straight into the sinks as well i have to change the spectrum analyzer to an envelope version of itself instead of the complex version and the result is this the spectrum still shows 100 kilohertz it doesn't show negative frequency anymore because of the spectrum analyzer, but the sine wave is just a flat line at 0.316 volts. That amplitude is correct for an oscillator at zero dBm here on the schematic. So why is it a flat line? It's because in this mode, system view is not sampling the carrier. It's sampling the amplitude or the envelope of the carrier and since the envelope of a sine wave is constant we get a flat line over here on the on the graph on the scope and so this is the correct result even though this may surprise some people how do we see the sine wave here and this is going to be important to certain people that want a sine wave that they can uh, perhaps apply to an a to d converter later on down the chain or for some other reason and basically what we have to do is we have to change the characterization frequency of the signal of the envelope signal now we do that with an fc change component if i set this to zero hertz and rerun the simulation, I retain the spectrum as before, and I regain the sine wave on the graph. And now it can be applied to a, a part later on that's expecting a sine wave. Why did this happen? Because every black arrowed signal in system view is represented by two quantities, the characterization frequency, F sub C, don't confuse that with carrier frequency and bandwidth and the sample rate determines the bandwidth it does not have any relationship to the carrier this is where envelope mode picks up its huge speed advantage because you don't have to sample at twice the carrier like you did uh, in baseband mode when we had this source active so um, so system view is sampling at the at the at the bandwidth of the signal you might say the modulation rate of the sync signal and uh, when you change the characterization frequency to zero hertz the uh, documentation for this part says that the um, the frequency will be uh, the frequency at port two minus the frequency at port one well if this is zero and this is 100 here at the input the difference is 100 and that's why we get the sine wave you see here. Also note that the green wave, the imaginary part is zero as though this were a real baseband signal. So in effect, what we've done is converted a black arrow back down to a real baseband signal, even though the color of the arrow remains the same. And um, in this case, 
we in this mode, we do have to mind the sample rate because we switch back into plain old real baseband mode. This sample rate has to be times two at least of the input frequency. In our case, it was already, so we kind of lucked in, but it's something you will have to manage if you try this. Uh, just to finish this demonstration, let's change the F sub C of the change part to some number that has no relation to the, to the original signal and let's run it again. The spectrum is still correct up here in the upper right, but the sine wave now doesn't look very good. It, it, it's really meaningless because of the fact that we, we did this to the signal. However, up here in the upper left, it's interesting that we got both real and imaginary parts of the signal as, uh, as though we were still looking, as, uh, because we are still looking at a complex envelope signal. So that's one use of the FC change part, as well as the difference between a baseband source and an envelope source in system view.